So, what is going on, guys? Your boy Gary here Gaming here, and um, well, you know, I just opened my wager, my wheel of death, and fucking, what do you know? It's pretty incredible. We've got a whole bunch of shit in the background. So, I mean, we'll work our way around. But this is so much to take in. I mean, it's this is too good. Guardian have gone above and beyond. If someone told me that this patch would be coming out in a couple of days, like I mean, it felt like yesterday that fucking one point seven one came out, and then we're all we're already here. We've got the fr French down below. I started playing this game. There was only you know five nations. Now there's fucking seven. Holy shit. So yeah, we finally have France, and I'll do a couple of videos on them in a second. But yeah, first of all, I just want to go around and look at every little thing. So if you look over there, you'll notice a, um, I'm going to say an AH-64A, but that's the attack helicopter the Germans used, and I think they've got a different designation for it. That's the one they used in the event. So yeah, if you can see over there, um, yeah, you've got the Italian aircraft, and if you look in the background, you can see the pirate ship from the other year's, um, uh, April Fool's event, War Thunder Naval Battles, or whatever it's called. <laughs> Big crates of Stalinium, lots of presents and stuff. Is that a Yashanka on top? Yeah, that's a Yashanka on top of those presents with a machine gun. <laughs> yeah, so you've got a, uh, just the, the famous Italian bomber, I can't remember what it's called, the fucking, the twin engine fighter, and I'm assuming that's a 202 or 205 or whatever. And then on the right here you've got um, a bunch of French aircraft. Now I have no idea what these are called. I think the one on the right is VG, is the VG, one of the fuck it's called. Um, but yeah, it's interesting to see that the two new nations have their aircraft on display. And then, sort of turning around, you will notice that there is a bunch of other stuff. So that's the fifth anniversary of War Thunder. You can notice in the background there's a blow-up tank um, I believe that can reference two things. That will reference unrealistic battles, which was an event um, for an April Fool's thing, I think. And then also, um, in real life, they did have blow-up tanks, which um, I think the Ghost Division used, um, the US Army, you can look into that. Basically, they faked, um, they pretended to be a division and made the Germans think that they were a force, when really it was a deception, or all a ruse. A um, bunch of torpedoes there for some reason in front of the cake. Uh, I'm not actually sure what that... That T-34 looks like one of those monuments. I've seen a couple of those, but I'm not sure if that's an award or something. Obviously, you got the Tiger One, just iconic tank. I can imagine why that's there. Um, yeah, so in the background, you'll notice that there is an android... Um, well, an android... Fucking don't know what it's called. little robot thing. A joystick. It looks like a penguin. Um, an apple... Uh, what is that? VR goggles and a PlayStation controller. So yeah, it's a bit of a shout out to um, everyone who's not on PC. I'm glad they added that in because you know I'm obviously a PS4 player. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, they got that 28 thing in the background. I can't remember what that was for again. Um, that was like a promotion thing or something. I really don't remember. And I'm loving these like secret document things in the background there. But we'll get around to that later. Um, so in the background we have. See, I cannot tell if that is a TU-4 or a B-29. Um, I will check, actually, right now. I was wondering, is there, is there an aesthetic difference between a TU-4 and a B-29? Or is, is it basically the same looking aircraft? I really can't tell. Because, I mean, that's the TU-4. Maybe we can get a look. Is that is that a white? No, that's a USAF T. Um, sorry, fucking T. That's a USAF B twenty nine in the background. Because if you can see the uh, the star, I can see the star um, USAF symbol on the side of the aircraft, which is um, this fucking thing here. So yeah, it's very cool that they've done all this. I really like when games developers go out of their way to actually um, do stuff like that. So if you can see that white star, sort of here ish. Um, that's on the other aircraft up there, so that's obviously a, um, B-29, so that's pretty cool. Uh, is there anything else sort of hidden away over here before we move on to the obvious stuff? Okay, so over there we've got the STA-1, um, Battle Walker, which was, um, one of the events, uh, that Gaijin had. Um, I think they had it at the same time with the, with the fucking blow-up tanks as well. 
it was so cool. It's basically a KV-1 turret on a walker hull or whatever. Really fucking cool. Um, over here you'll see the, um, is that a Fletcher? I believe that is a Fletcher class destroyer. Could be wrong. Well, Alan M. Sumner's had twin turrets, so I'm assuming that's going to be a Fletcher. Does that have five guns? Yep, five guns. So, yeah, Fletcher obviously is celebrating our naval forces. That's a very nice looking, um, uh, display too. And then, of course, over here, you'll see that they have a T-64 and an M-60 Rise, representing the uh, Rank 6 era, uh, the Rank 6 modern era vehicles, or semi-modern Cold War. Yeah, it'd be more Cold War era vehicles. So yeah, it's pretty cool how they've got all this stuff, sort of just five years of all these different amazing things coming together, forming the game that we have today. Remember, the game only went live when the Japanese ground forces were introduced. So it's pretty incredible that this game has only been alive for a year, even though obviously this is a five year anniversary. So it was in open beta for four years. Incredible. And yeah, I love that bomb just sitting on the ground there with like the little, uh, the little, what's it fucking called? Like the ribbon around it. I also love, if you can see on the right there, it looks like a, I don't know, aviation hat with wings on it. Looks kind of like ears. I don't know what the fuck that thing is, but it's, pretty cool so yeah um i can't tell if there's anything else or if there's something up here that they might be hiding away somewhere oh what is that yeah okay so hang on yeah what the fuck is that giant snail thing? oh right gaijin yeah so they got a massive snail hidden away back there huh i wonder how many people notice that that's pretty cool um yeah so i'm gonna look out for things like that like if you can see in the background there just that massive fucking snail I'm assuming that's a snail, because, you know, Gaijin, but yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I want to see more stuff like that. Just little hidden things. Like, I wonder if there's anything sort of hidden in the hangar that I can see. Um, nope. Yeah. So, I don't know. There must be something really cool. I'm surprised there's nothing, like, way over there that's, like, hidden. I'm surprised there isn't. Huh. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm guessing that's it. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm I'm quite happy with this all. This looks really cool. Um, it's just amazing how far this game's come, so yeah. And then guys, obviously, of course, the French have come to War Thunder for the first time in ages. Like, people have been waiting for this for a very, very long time. So, you know, I'm looking quite forward to playing the shit out of some French aircraft. Um, or maybe going up against them and clubbing the shit out of them in return. I don't know, I'll see what I want to do first. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this little video and I hope you guys go out and enjoy yourselves when you're playing the game because, you know, it always sucks to get frustrated, especially when you're playing something as expansive as this. So yeah, um, leave a like if you like the video. Obviously it's nothing quality content, but I just wanted to show some things off. You know, maybe you've seen it before, but I don't know. <laughs> Um, yeah, so keep an eye out if you're interested in any new videos in the future, and I'll catch you guys next time.